Simone. Simone. Every day Kathy Annabel spends with her daughter Kaylee is a blessing because she never knows if one of her daily seizures could be the one that kills her. I guess that's the part that says I'm not done fighting because I'm not ready to lose my child yet. 11-year-old Kaylee suffers from a Cardi syndrome, which among other issues causes multiple seizures every day. Cases have shown that a form of medical marijuana can help. I just have hope that this will renew us and we will get to know our child again. The Compassionate Care Act passed the Health Committee last week and now moves to the Finance Committee, which Senator John DeFrancisco chairs. If it comes to a vote, DeFrancisco will vote no because medical marijuana hasn't been approved by the FDA. You know, it seems to me that's the prudent way to go, not just say something is medically good when the appropriate tests have never been done. Hoping to change his mind, this group of advocates have been standing outside all day here in Auburn trying to talk to Senator DeFrancisco about their support of the Compassionate Care Act. We're not drug addicts. We're just patients that want a good quality of life. And this is what we found that has worked for us. Susan Racinko suffers from multiple sclerosis, but says medical marijuana has improved her quality of life. I weighed it out, you know, quality of life versus risking legal ramification. And for me, my quality of life weighed out. And while it may be risky. It might not help everybody, and it might not help Kaylee, but I'm no worse yesterday than I was today, and I will be better tomorrow if the bill is passed. Advocates say if it can save someone's life, it's a risk worth taking. Reporting from Marcellus, I'm Dora Scheidel.